so to speak. And so that they're not always in their right mind either. And so they might actually say, hey, this is my house. Anybody who comes in the house is, uh, I'm going to attack. Free game, yeah. Yeah, but that's not the usual scenario, really. Um, actually, they really travel from house to house and do as much damage as they can. People might um, complain, they call me and say, you know, there's something every night there's something going on, you know. But also that uh, when I look into the situation and I was born with psychic ability and the ability to see spirits, that I, I notice that they're actually traveling very often. They spend an hour harassing a family or somebody in a home or a apartment, condo, or wherever you live, a business, and also and then take off and go to the next place. So uh, it's kind of uh, making their rounds, sort of like an evil doctor. Sure. Do, do demons, can they possess more than one person at one time? It, it can happen. It, it, essentially, spirits... Um, you know, can be in more than one place at one time. They certainly can uh, uh, actively uh, focus upon uh, two or three or four individuals at once, but it doesn't really pay off. It really doesn't, uh, it's much uh, more common 